Yo, what up my freddies, I'm Pineapple Fred, and welcome back to this brand new video series on the channel. I don't have a name for this series yet, so bear with me while I scramble to find one. For those of you just tuning into the series for the first time, I'm planning on making more educational videos based on the game that we all know and love. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing 6 ways you can use Dragapult. Why Dragapult? Because I've been playing a lot of Generation 9 random battles recently, and this mon just keeps popping up in my teams. Obviously, this video will not contain all the ways you can use Dragapult, but these are simply 6 fun ways that popped into my head. If you can think of any cool Dragapult sets that aren't included in this video, feel free to comment them down below in the comment section. Before we kick off with the video, let's take a look at Dragapult's base stats. While it lacks in the defensive department, we can clearly see that it excels in speed and offense. Dragapult stats are a great example of the classic glass cannon, meaning that we ideally want to take out our opponent as fast as possible without sustaining any and all damage. Dragapult having excellent attack and special attack makes it a super versatile hard hitter. For our first set, we have the classic Dragon Dance set. Everybody knows how this works, but for those of you that don't, you first need to set up with at least one Dragon Dance. Obviously, if you can get them all going, then you've basically won the game. Then it should be game over from here, right? Uh, this Dragapult has a life orb to increase damage output and has the ability Clear Body. You could switch between Clear Body and Infiltrator, but I decided to run Clear Body here just in case there are webs. By the time we do get a Dragon Dance off, we should be strong enough to drop most mods and prevent them from setting up a substitute. If there is a substitute, Dragon Darts should be more than enough to take care of it unless that Pokemon is a fairy type or anything that resists dragons like steel. As for the other moves, you could choose any hard hitting physical move, but I chose Phantom Force for that stab and Steel Wing to take care of those pesky fairy types. I know Phantom Force isn't ideal with a two turn setup, but it's an interesting move that can break through protect and I like to use it whenever I have the chance. As for the nature, I decided to run an adamant nature because Dragapult naturally outspeeds most mods already. Next up, we have the Choice Specs set. As mentioned earlier in the video, Dragapult has an incredible speed stat, so it's a natural next step to buff its offensive stats. With this set, I decided to give it U-turn for pivoting and to avoid specially defensive walls like Blissey's and Chansey's. For this set, I decided to run Infiltrator because we want to immediately hit without having to fuss with any substitutes, but you could run Clear Body for the same reason mentioned in the last set. As for the moves, I chose Draco Meteor and Shadow Ball for Stab and Thunder for that extra hard hitting damage. I chose Thunder over other hard hitter moves like Fire Blast because I do enjoy that 30% chance of paralysis. Lastly, I decided to run a Timid Nature since we're already greatly boosting the special attack with the choice specs. Since we're already on the topic of choice items, let's move on to the choice band set. Instead of maximizing special attack, this set aims to maximize physical attack. As for the moves, we have U-Turn for pivoting again, Outrage and Phantom Force for maximizing stab damage, and Steel Wing again to take care of those pesky fairy types. You could replace Steel Wing for Sucker Punch if you wanted to run priority, but it's quite risky since you don't want to get locked into Sucker Punch. The ability here is Jolly instead of Adamant since we're already boosting the attack with the Choice Band. However, you could run an adamant nature if you have sticky web set up on your opponent's side. Alright, let's shift away from the item based teams and move on to the mixed attacker set. It's very rare that you can run a mixed attacker set, and Dragapult might arguably be the best one out there. For the physical moves we have U-turn for pivoting and Dragon Darts for stab damage. For the special moves we have Flamethrower flame for coverage and Shadow Ball for stab damage. The item here is a life orb but you could substitute this with an Expert Belt too. You could go either way for the ability and use either Infiltrator or Clear Body, but I chose Clear Body because I value speed as the most important stat, and with webs being so common, it's a natural next step to choose Clear Body. As for the nature, I would recommend a hasty nature so that you don't debuff any offensive stats. Lastly, you could boost either of the offensive stats with your EV spread, it's really up to which stat you prefer. I decided to buff the special attack stat because I don't have to worry as much about getting burned. For our last two sets, we move on to more gimmicky and niche sets. Let's start with the Hex set. 
As the name suggests, the set is heavily revolved around the move Hex. We have Thunder Wave and Will-O-Wisp as the status moves, and Dragon Pulse for some additional stab damage. I decided to run Leftovers on the set because the burn should help us last a bit longer, as long as we're dealing with physical attackers. Previously, the EVs have been spread between offense and speed. However, for this set, I decided to buff its HP and special attack. Its speed stat is still pretty decent, so I decided to put no investment into it, and we should outspeed most mods, I think? The ability doesn't really matter, but again, I chose clear body because I don't mess with the speed drops. As for the nature, I decided to run a modest nature because the Thunder Wave will drop the enemy's speed stat, and also, we naturally outspeed most mons with our pretty high speed. Lastly, let's move on to the best set of them all. Keep in mind that this set is quite broken, so if you're looking to make friends on Showdown, don't use this set. Previously, we've been running either Clear Body or Infiltrator as the ability, but Dragapult has a secret hidden ability called Cursed Body. For our moves, we have Disabled, Substitute, Confuse Ray, and Dragon Darts. The whole point of this set is to annoy the hell out of your opponent. I know Cursed Body doesn't always trigger, and that's why Disable is here. But when it does, it will be absolutely hilarious. If executed properly, this renders your opponent down to three moves only, and will most likely force a switch. The Leftover provides longevity and helps keep this god healthy. As for the EVs and natures, I invested fully into health and speed, accompanied by a jolly nature. The set is built to make enemies and destroy friendships, so use it as at your own discretion. I know I haven't really touched, on, touched upon terror types throughout the video, but for this set, I especially made it steel type so that Dragapult can take a hit and hopefully trigger the cursed body. With the previously mentioned sets, you could use whatever terror type you want. With that said, we get to the end of the video. I know that there are a ton more ways that you can use Dragapult, but I didn't feel like making a super long video. Which set do you think was the best? And which Pokemon should I talk about next? Let me know in the comments section down below. I've also read your comments from the last video, the Charizard video, and you guys were asking for Dynamax, but since it's kind of a dead meta and nobody's really playing that, at least I don't, I, I'm personally not, uh, I don't really have the interest for making Dynamax sets, but if you guys have a lot of requests for it, then sure. And thank you so much for making it to the end of the video, guys. I really do appreciate it. What do you think of this new video series? If you have any feedback that you would like to give me, please feel free to do so in the comment section below. As I said before, I'd like to transition to more educational type videos like this, so any and all feedback would be greatly appreciated. With that said, please drop a like and share this video with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.